Dear Cheyenne, when Cheyenne first arrived at the Resilience Preparatory School, she was less than pleased to be here. She and Mr. Walker had a, quote, misunderstanding. The prior year, while he still worked at Derby, and Cheyenne was not embracing their reunion. After a series of meetings with Mr. Marshall, where he assured Cheyenne and her mother that Mr. Walker wasn't the devil, they agreed to enroll her into the Resiliency Prep School. All wasn't rosy upon arrival. Cheyenne had a habit of never being where she was supposed to be and always being too loud. Despite everyone's best effort, she, <laughs> she continued to wander the building and get herself into trouble. Two people initially came to Cheyenne's aid, Mr. Fitzgerald and Mrs. Silva. Mrs. Silva, <laughs> you see what I'm talking about, everybody? <laughs> Mrs. Silva had Cheyenne in class when she was 10 years old, and to no one's surprise, Cheyenne had difficulty remaining seated back then. Ne nevertheless, Mrs. Silva was drawn to her and saw her for the sensitive and loving child that she was. Six years later, Cheyenne was the same little kid trapped in a bigger body with one exception. She had grown in attitude. <laughs> but, reg <laughs> but regardless of how difficult matters ever became for Cheyenne, Mrs. Silva's office was always her home base in the building, and she always found solace there. As for Mr. Fitzgerald, no one really knew what his magic was. She had so much success in this class that he actually requested that she take additional courses with him. He even got her to stay in his room for the entire period, and from time to time, she'd even stay out of school with him to make up additional work. As time passed, everyone in the building had the opportunity to see glimpses of the child that Mrs. Silver and Mr. Fitzgerald described. But it took time, lots of time. And we all grew to realize that once Cheyenne knew she could trust you, she would do anything for you. And by the end of her junior year, even Mr. Walker and Mrs. Manning grew to adore Cheyenne in all of her quirkiness. The image that sticks out most of Cheyenne is a wide-eyed, gaping smile expression that stood frozen on her face as she stared out of the window overlooking Central Park in New York City. We could all see a glimpse of that little 10-year-old girl as she let down her guard and allowed herself, <laughs> and allowed herself to enjoy the freedom of just being herself. No outside pressures, no bickering with friends, no power struggles with authority figures, just pure, unadulterated fun. And in that moment, we all celebrated the joy of finding our inner child on the 10th floor of the five-star hotel overlooking a city park as the sun fell onto its treetops. Cheyenne, never stop believing in yourself. Don't hold back from showing people who you really are. You may open yourself up to criticism from some individuals, but you will find friendship and love from others. And always remember that you catch more bees with honey than you do with salt. Great people with a, greet people with a smile, and most will smile back. The same works conversely, so check yourself, and always keep in touch. <laughs> <laughs> told you to do that plenty of times. <laughs> and, and always keep in touch with those who you feel are worthy. We will all miss you. 